So much trash was taught that never been in the scriptures. Right. Paul died at Nero's chopping block. I don't know where he died or how. That's right. Peter was crucified, head down and feet up. I ain't never read that. It's not in there. Not in there. John died 96 AD in a pot of boiling oil. The year of his death and how he died, not written. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Five minor prophets, five major prophets. The Bible don't call none of them major or minor, but simply call them holy, holy prophets. Holy prophets. That's true. Do you see what I'm talking? That's right. Amen. Seminary school teach that Timothy was the first bishop in the church. The Bible don't say that. No. The Bible teach that Timothy was an evangelist. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4 you and see, 5. See, I love the word of God because it contradicts men. That's right. Listen. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Yes. And shall be turned un unto fable. Yes. But watch thou in all things. You watch in everything. Endure affliction. Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of a bishop. Of an evangelist. Do the work of so an evangelist. So this is what I mean that nothing wrong with history as long as it don't contradict what the Lord says. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, I'm going to take what God said. Oh, yeah. And you got people upset with us because I take God's word over there. <laughs> That's right. And I had men dispute with me. Don't you believe me? No. Wonderful. No, no. Wonderful. That's I believe right. God. That's right. Don't you want to hear me? No. That's no. Right. Bible says, he that hath the ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. That's right. That's right. God people interest supposed to be what the Lord says. Search the scriptures. First. That's right. And foremost. That's right. What did Jesus advise us to do? St. John 5 and verse 39. Search Gosh. the scriptures. Glory to God. For in them. That's why I don't use the scripture and the history book. No. Mm -mm. No. And, and many of you got Bibles that have concordance. Yeah. Have commentaries on the side. That's right. You better be careful about that stuff on the side. That's right. That stuff on the side was written of men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's men trying to give you their interpretation of the contents of the scripture. That's right. You better be careful. That's right. Get me, get me, get me now. You better be careful. Search the scriptures. Hallelujah. It didn't say search concordance. <laughs> no. Huh? No, no. Not search concordance. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them. In them. You think you have eternal life. Well, you better be careful. You'll get up trying to preach concordance. Concordance. Yeah, yes, you will. All that stuff that's in the column that's of right. a page. That's right. That's man's doing. That's right. I get inspiration from heaven, That's not it. from concordance. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. That's right. I rely on heaven for my understanding because when Jesus died and come back, it is written, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. The scripture. the scriptures. That's it. Get me now. Search the scriptures. Search it. For in them you think you have eternal life. Search it. Search the scriptures. So when we make reference to things that's not in scripture, we tell the people. That way you don't believe that there were seven deacons in the church. <laughs> that's right. The Bible ain't said that. No. I learned all that stuff from the apostolic church. Right. Seven deacons in the church and five minor prophets and five major and Peter was crucified, head down and feet up. It was 400 years of darkness after the last prophet Malachi died. The Bible ain't never said how many years it no, was. No, no. I learned all that stuff in the apostolic church. Isaiah 9 and 6, the to us a child is born, son is Sounds given. Good. And the apostolic said, Jesus came 712 years later. Ain't no Bible said that. No. no. Oh, no. Ain't no Bible said that. No, no. Beware of the usage of philosophy. That's right. Beware. Amen. I'm warning you now. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is why holiness makes you rethink past teaching. That's right. Huh? That's right. Holiness makes you rethink 
past teaching when you look back how you thought the preacher was so deep in the Bible and then you find out what he was deep in never was in the never Bible. Never was in there. Beware. He was deep in information outside of the Bible. That's right. Deep in philosophy. That's right. Deep in theology. That's right. And Bible warns us about such carrying on. In Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. All right. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Look out. Look out. Look out. Watch out for him. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. How? Through philosophy. How? And vain deceit. What is it? After the tradition of men. And? After the rudiments of the world. Who did it not come from? And not after Christ. Not after Christ. Philosophy. Philosophy. And that's what you have in churches now. Philosophying. <laughs> that's right. Bunch of philosophy. philosophy. Theology. Yeah. And people, because they are ignorant of the word of God, they jump around and shout, fall out on a philosophy. That's right. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. I remember philosophy. the false apostolic church I was in. I was witnessing one day a one of the brothers getting ordained. Mm -hmm. And the preacher put a white sheet on the floor and got four women. Yeah. To take their shoes off. I, I remember that. You remember that? Amen. Take their shoes off and then put their bare feet with the stocking on it on the tip of the sheet. Yep. And the preacher got the script in Revelation how God commanded the angels <laughs> not to hurt the earth. Lord. So the four winds don't blow. The Bible ain't never said he had four women not to hurt the earth. <laughs> no. Imagine that four women participating. And the ordination? That's right. That's right. Beware. Beware! Beware lest any man spoil you. Oh, thank God, I'm that, I'm, that, I'm that dog in your backyard that you throw shoes at. <laughs> That's that right. bark all the hours of the night. That's right. And you want to sleep in your false church. Amen. And God's got me barking. That's right. Beware! Beware! Beware lest any man spoil you. You spoil. That's right. That's why you fight this message because we demand that you come back to Scorch Earth Bible. That's right. Beware. I don't believe nothing. That's right. You can run around, walk on your hand, do the split, scream like Jane Brown, yell like Michael Jackson. <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> Go ahead, take God. Beware. Beware. Yeah, lest any man spoil you. I don't care who your bishop is, how many degrees behind his name. You gonna come back to Bible? That's right. Otherwise than that, I'm not moving. No, no you're not. You can refer me to Gabriel. Right. I'm gonna tell Gabriel. I'm gonna listen to Gabriel. And if he stand here and bring something different from the Bible, I'm gonna drive his wings to Galatia and say, hey, Gabe. But the wings. The wings. Or an angel from or heaven. Or an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel Preach unto you. Preach any other gospel unto you. Unto you. And which we have preached unto you. And what we preach to you. Let him be a curse. I'm going to tell Gabriel, get out of, get out of my face. Get out, that's right. Huh? That's right. So I'm saying what? I slap Gabriel down with Bible. In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8, but the we. Not even Gabriel's above the Bible. That's right. You let Gabriel come down here. I don't care if he's shining so bright. He dimmed my vision. Amen. I'm going to close my eyes and listen to what he said. That's right. And when you deviate from the Bible, Amen. that light going out. Yes, it is. But the we. Let me get Bible. Give me that plea the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. If any man don't bring it according to this word, it is because there is no light, no light in, in him. him. That's right. Isaiah and chapter 8. Give and me at Isaiah, verse 20. Isaiah 8 20. To the law and to, to the law. And to the testimony. And to the testimony. If they speak not. If they speak not. According, to, according this word, to this word. It is because the reason? there is no light in them. There's what? There is no light in That's them. That's why I say I put the angels of heaven That's right. light out. That's right. If they contradict God's word. It is because there is no light in them. Amen. That's something to say. Are you God. getting what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. This word would unplug the light of an angel. That's right. If he don't bring it according to that word. That's right. 
If they speak not according I, to this I got, word. I got a whole lot of brothers um, in, in, in the truth of God that used to be elders and bishops and pastors and ministers from different churches with the seminary school. And, yeah. and that's why when I make reference to this stuff that people are preaching, a lot of them can laugh and say amen because some of them used to preach it or came out of churches that taught it. Right. So what happened? When you come to the truth of holiness, holiness is a divine detox center. That's right. Because you become polluted yeah. and diluted and contaminated. Right. I got to dilute that stuff. That's right. I got to weaken it. Weed it out. Beat that stuff out of you. That's right. Hmm? Beware. That way you don't refer to none of the prophets mm -hmm. as minor and major. Right. Right. Because they say, well, the reason why we call them minor and major, because some wrote more than the others. That's your, that's your reason. That's your reason. Now, the Bible said bring forth your strong reason, right. and you better give Bible attached to your reason. That's right. That's right. Bible ain't never said they was minor or major. No. He said he just speak by the mouth of his holy, holy prophet, prophet since the world began. That's it. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Viewers, are you holding on to a teaching that you thought was Bible? Yeah. Are you? Oh, yes. Hey, you men that have been out ordained, have you been ordained in a manner? That was not in the Bible? Right. That's right. Have you brought, been catechized out of a book? Mm -hmm. And then if you answer those questions, uh, you pass your tests, mm -hmm. and then after you pass your test, then you get ordained, but before you get ordained, you have a trial sermon? Right. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Check now. Check. See, it's according to the word of God. Hey, Deke. Hey, Deke. Have you been ordained according to what's written? That's it. Are you an acting deacon first before you became the real thing? Amen. Have you read where any man in the history of the Bible pretend to be a deacon, then got ordained after he's done pretending? Right. You don't pretend to be a liar. You're either a liar or you're not. That's right. There is no such thing as a pretense deacon. No. A acting deacon. No. Either you're the real McCoy or you're not in it. Or you're not. Come on back to Bible. Come Amen. on back. Amen. Come on back. Be well, let's any man. Let's any man spoil, spoil you through you philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain. After the, after the tradition of men. Hold it. After what? After the tradition of men. This is what ruined churches. That's right. Men tradition. Men's tradition. Against Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. And Jesus spoke plain. Thus. Have ye made the commandment yeah, of listen God. Listen at this. In listen the, at this. Now I want to enlarge on this. In the book of St. Mark chapter 7 and we'll start at verse 6. Said what? He answered and said unto them, well hath Isaiah. Jesus answered and said to them, well. Hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. Hath Isaiah prophesied about you what? Hypocrites. Yeah. That yeah. sounds so wonderful. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Jesus called them what they were. What they were. Hypocrites. Amen. As and it is written. As it is written. This people honor me with their lips. They got a lot of mouth service. But their heart is far from me. So what is it? Howbeit in vain do in they vain. worship me. Do they listen at this, viewers? Howbeit in vain you do know, they worship me. You know, your worship got to be scriptural. That's right. Yeah. And that's what got us sounding the alarm. Thank God. So loud. That's right. Because it must be scriptural, not feeling. Right. Not based upon emotion. That's right. One false prophet, someone showed me a clip of one of them prosperity heathens <laughs> said that God and money goes together. What? You know you false prophets, oh, yeah, you ought to go to hell quick. Amen. That's right. That's and amen. the people believe this trash and they don't check up behind these men with Bible. That's right. God and money don't go together. No. God is alone. That's right. By himself. By himself. Hey man, you don't need money to connect with God. No. You ain't got to have a dime, and God can reach you, and you can reach him. That's right. That's right. Being prosperous in materialism, the blessings of God is larger than that. Oh, yes. You can have all the materialism all you want and no God. That's right. That's and right. then you go to hell. That's right. The 
The true prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Amen. That's why you people love these prosperity preachers because they know you don't want God. You <laughs> want right. money. That's right. The devil knows you don't want to live right. You want money. You want money. Amen. Amen. Your money will perish with you unless you have God. How be it in vain do they worship me? What do they do? Teaching for doctrines. Wait a minute. Amen. What do they do? Teaching for doctrines. What do they make doctrine? The commandments of men. That's right. How, mu how much do they love men commandments, William? For laying aside. They lay aside. The commandment of God. God's order. Ye hold. Ye hold. The tradition of men. You know you're going to hell for that. That's right. We come along to break up men tradition. Break, that's right. Break it up. Break it up. Break up men's tradition, any man's tradition Amen. that contradict the tradition of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. We break that thing up. That's right. If it's in keeping with the word of God, then we say amen to it. That's right. Huh? For laying aside the commandment of God. Now, there have some that came to first church <laughs> and tried to get me to lay aside That's right. God's tradition. God's tradition. God's tradition stayed and they got gone. Yes, they did. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no, you, you it ain't nobody. I, I don't care who you are, what position you have, how much money you have. I'm just not impressed with no human That's right. on the earth. And, and if anyone think I'm lying, stay around me. You'll find out. Stay, stay Them that have been around, around me a good long time know. Pastor Jennings ain't impressed with nobody. No, you're not. Hey, man, I don't, I don't care what you have, whatever you have. Thank God for you, and I keep moving. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, if you got a mansion, I've seen mansions before. If you got a Rolls Royce, I've seen them before. If you got a Maybach, I've seen them before. Hey, Amen. Now, if you got a car, as the, and as I often say, if the front part is at the Canadian border, yeah. and your steering wheel is in Colorado, Amen. and your trunk is in Honduras, Amen. And your back tail light is coming around the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. Now you a wonder. That's right. You're a wonder then. That's a wonder. Otherwise, in that, you born of a woman like I am. That's right. You got to die like many will. That's right. You got to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they did like they on did. the day of Pentecost right. at Jerusalem or reject it and die and go to hell. That's right. That's right. I ain't impressed with nobody. Nobody. No, you're and not. Someone said nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I know millionaires, mm -hmm. and they have said to me, Gino, you ain't impressed with nothing, are you? I said, with God. That's it. That's right. With God. Oh, yeah. Hey man, I have no millionaires that, hey man, went to their house and uh, told me what they got. I got this, I got that. This came all the way from Europe and all that. I mean, one man, I forgot his name, he showed me one picture. He said, uh, Gino, I got this from Italy. It cost me $50,000. I oh. said, Yeah, that looked like something I got from Home Goods. <laughs> Called me $19.99. My Lord. Yeah. Amen. He looked. He looked at me. I said, "Really? really? It's like something I got from Home Goods." Amen. Called me nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. My Lord. Lord, that God, and I want to see. Can I get a discount off that? <laughs> I don't care. That's right. That's Thank wonderful. God, I don't care what you have. That's right. When are you people going to realize you're nothing but a speck of dust? That's all. The only reason why you are alive today is by God's mercy. Amen. And when God snatched his breath from your nostrils, you're nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. What did he say? For laying aside the commandment of God. That's what you folks have done. That's Amen. what you have done. I'm determined to hold in your face. That's right. In the face of creation. Amen. God commandment. That's it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Say, God, hold it right in your face. That's right. Turn to the left, turn to the right. You're going to bump up against God's tradition. That's right. God's tradition is Holy Ghost tradition. Holy Ghost tradition, Holy Ghost tradition is the orders and rules and regulations that God gave his apostles to lay discipline in his church. That's right. That's it. Huh? That's it. Not this religious farce. <laughs> 
all this antics. Take photo, take a selfie of each other and hold it up and say, Jesus, this. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Touch and claim and look at the neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, your hour is now. One false prophet got before his whole congregation and just had the whole congregation of thousands yelling, money, come here. My Lord. The whole congregation, money, come here. My Lord. Ain't telling nobody to repent. No. Ain't telling nobody to be baptized. No. Ain't telling nobody the end of the world is at hand. That's right. Ain't telling nobody prepare to meet God. Yeah. Not telling nobody the day of the Lord will come. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Laying aside the not preparing nobody. Nobody. Who will take God for the resurrection? That's right. Laying aside. Laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside. Amen. Many of you folks watching me now around the world, that's what you have done. Yes. Your bishop, your fake apostle, your fraud elder, your low life deacon, your half pint pastor. That's right. Took the word of God and pushed it aside for prosperity. That's right. Pushed it aside for money. Yeah. Push it aside because someone offered him a few dollars. Yeah. Amen. And he sold out on God like a cheap two cent hoe. That's right. That's right. Laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside the commandment of God. Ye hold the tradition of men. I had a man write me and say, You brag about, yeah, you, you're not for sale. He said, Everybody got a price. Mm. Not everybody, not me. No. I'm nobody's hoe. That's right. Eh? Nobody. I mean nobody. Nobody. You can offer me the world. That's right. You haven't offered me nothing because the world ain't yours. That's right. Eh? If Balak would give me his house. Notice the book of Numbers. In Numbers chapter 22 and verse 18. If Balak would give me his house. Full of silver and gold. Get it up. I cannot. Lord, thank God for silver and gold. I cannot. Go beyond the word of the Lord my God. To do what? To do less. To do less. Or more. I'm going to stay within the word. That's it. Hallelujah. There's nothing. Nothing. Hear, 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 hear the old man now. Right. And I don't care if you don't believe it, that doesn't faze me. But when I say nothing, nothing I say. That's right. That you can offer me at all that would make me second guess, bargain, or even give it a thought the size of a gnat's back tooth. Mm. Touching God everlasting That's right. word. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I've been offered millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. If I would just take the commandment of God yeah. and lay it aside. Lay it aside. No! That's what I said. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Logan yelled it for me. Amen. Oh, God, no. No. That's right. This would be a song which is saying, as a child, I've been serving Jesus a long time. <laughs> Ain't got tired yet. Yeah. Then they yell, no, ain't got tired yet. <laughs> That's right. And we have it. That's right. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Not at all. Amen. It's amazing how these preachers will sell out on the cheapest. Yes, they will. We offer them a, offer them a, a few thousand dollars. They turn on God quick. That's right. Reject God. Just turn a back on them. That's right. Amen. A woman can come into church and switch her hips and make a few aisles move over. <laughs> He'll offer her his pulpit chair. Yes, he will. Give me what the woman did to the king. How the king offered half of the kingdom. That's right. Amen. I want to show you this now. In the book of St. Mark chapter 6. Many of you that are watching me now, this is your bishop. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. Sister Hips came in the church. Amen. Amen. Sister Hips came in the church and Mother Breast came in there. Woo. And Sister Thighs came in there. That's Amen. Right. And missionary calf came in there. That's right. Amen. And took the whole pulpit and rearranged everything. Rearranged Amen. Turned your bishop to a two dollar hole. Turned your elder to a half pint hole. That's turned right. the pastor to a little mini a mini me pimp. Amen. It's sad what they done. Oh yeah. Do you hear it? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 6, and at verse 21. Now, what the preacher do? The preacher now, the, the, the woman got him so bad, certain subjects in the Bible, he won't even preach. That's right. Scared that she going to look at him and give him the look. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right. Or scared she won't let them land back in the bird's nest again. Mm. You bunch of crooks and heathens. Bunch of crooks. That's why you don't like Pastor Jennings, but I'm going to preach it, God knows. That's right. God sent me to preach what you won't preach. Right. What did he say, son? In St. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. I want to show you what hips can do to the pulpit if the pulpit is stupid enough to let them. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 6, we're at verse 21. All right. And when a convenient day was come. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> always a convenient day. Convenient day. Yeah. And when a convenient day was come. It's always a convenient day. That's right. Amen. And every day for the false prophet is a convenient day. That's right. Uh -huh. And when a convenient day was come. When a convenient day come. That Herod on his birthday Herod made a supper to his Lord. On his birthday. Amen. Did what? Made a supper to his made Lord. Made supper to his Lord. High captains and chief of states of Galilee. Yeah. And when the daughter of the said Herodias uh -oh. came in. When the daughter of the said uh, Herodias, Herodias came daughter in came in and danced. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What did she do? And, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod. I don't know what kind of dance she done. That's right. To my knowledge, there was no lap dancing back then. I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't know, Pastor. <laughs> never know. Never, never know. Amen. That's right. I don't know whether there was any pole dancing back then. <laughs> but one thing that I know. Amen. Brother, she did something. That's right. She did something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the way it is in many of these churches. Certain sisters get out there dancing and junking and all that flesh start wiggling all over the place. Bishop getting anointing. <laughs> That's right. He don't know whether to clap or whether... pat his feet. Amen. <laughs> You old sloppy mouth fool. That's right. You the sloppy mouth fool. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. That's right. That's right. Listen to the old troublemaker now. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. And she what? And danced. Danced. You know, some of them women do that kind of shout, they shuffle. <laughs> and Bishop be right there. Amen. Why, why they shuffling, Bishop right there. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Bishop say he stands there because he don't want her to hurt herself. You old back catching pimp. <laughs> That's right. All right, listen to the old man. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod. Wait a minute. Amen. She danced and pleased Herod. And them that sat with him. Them that sat with him got yeah. happy too. The king said unto the damsel. What? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, <laughs> and I will give it thee. <laughs> Ask of me whatever. whatsoever you thou want. wilt. And I will give it thee. I give it to you. And he swear unto her. Oh. <laughs> swear. Uh -oh. And all she done was what? Danced. And, and when she danced, what did he say? And he asked of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And all she done was what? Danced. And what did it make him say? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. I wonder what kind of dance was that she done. What kind of dance was that? That's right. Please help. Hey, viewer. Is your pulpit vacant? Amen. Because the uh, 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 church harlot came in? Yeah. Oh, yes. False church I came up in. I saw that happen. Yeah. From a pastor that I had, woman got in this ear so bad, Made them change doctrine. Amen. Then another woman came in. Mm -hmm. And they both teamed up together. My Lord. She made them change doctrine. Amen. Then the third woman came in. 
Amen. They all work together like three little pigs. Amen. <laughs> and he ceased to be yeah. the big bad wolf. Yeah. yeah. Took all this huff oh. and puff That's right. out of him. That's right. That's right. He was known for his strictness. Yeah. Known for his no nonsense. Right. Known for it. Till the three little pigs came. Amen. That's exactly what they look like, too. Three little pigs. <laughs> I would go in the office and talk to him. Why you don't teach this no more? You change this, you change that. His response was, it's unnecessary. Mm. For years, he taught the woman got to cover her head. Yeah. I preached that one night, and one of the sisters was complaining. Yep. And then he took up the sister, went to bat for her. Yeah. He said, why are you preaching head covering? I said, you preached it. That's right. yeah. Because the sister didn't want to cover her head. He said, well, if she don't want to cover her head, she don't have to cover it. I said, but that's what you preach. Yeah. Right. I don't care if your hips so wide, you got a basket on each of them. Amen. There ain't a set of hips that ever come in the truth of God and change this doctrine. That's right. We'll beat your hips down to your knees. That's right. That's right. Dance all you want. Dance all you want. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. What, what did she do? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. What did it make him say? And please, Herod, ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. She wasn't dancing in the spirit. No. She wasn't dancing to please God either. Oh, no. Please, Herod. Hey, viewer. Hey, viewer. Have your preaching changed? Have your pastor changed now? Hmm. Because of Sister Ruth. That's right. Sister Naomi. Yeah. Sister Mary went Magdalene on him. <laughs> That's right. What happened to Bishop? That's right. You can't find him now? He's supposed to be in the pulpit. Where is it? Where, where is he? At Mother Grethel's house? Mm. Have your bishop changed doctrine now? Amen. Because Sister Susan didn't want to obey something? Right. And to please Sue, he changed doctrine? <laughs> That's right. Did a woman come in and rearrange the entire organization? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. It's a breast that's strong, her hips that good, her womb that tight. Mm. He changed the doctrine. Preach it, brother. Talk back to me. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Her womb is more important than the souls of the church. Go ahead. That you will lay aside God. That's right. Turn your back on God. Amen. That's what they do. What they hey, do. viewers. Your church is not the same no more, is it? Mm. Amen. 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 Do you hear what the word said? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. That's why I, I can never see how can a man go to a club yeah. and come home broke. That's right. I could never see it. And all she did was come down a pole and shook her hips. That's right. Chest twirling all kind of directions. And you ain't got no money? No money left. That's all? That's all she did? That's right. Straddle across of you and grind on your pants and made you pee on yourself? Make it plain, brother. Make it plain. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you come back broke? That's right. Can't take care of your wife. Can't take care of your son. Can't take care of your daughter. Go ahead. Because she worked on you to piss on yourself. Go ahead. You don't work all week. Go ahead, man. 
mm. will never make me see the sense of it. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I love my wife. Put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> but that girl could never shake her goods right. and make me go broke. That's right. If she shake her goods, it's going to make me work more. <laughs> Hallelujah. It may sound funny, but do you know how many churches, churches. done went bankrupt? Preachers done drank the whole That's church true. account That's right. of people hard earned money That's to true. pay off their girlfriends. That's right. Churches had to shut down. Yeah. Preachers that took the whole church account, left town. That's it right. have happened in apostolics. It have happened in Baptists. It have happened in Pentecostal and still happening. Still happening. That is something. He's about 70. She's 21. Lord have mercy. He never needed extra oxygen until he met her. That's right. That's right. And this old fool talking about, oh, she make me feel uh, young again. That's right. Ain't nobody thighs worth going to hell for. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. And you, woman, you got to be lower than a stray dog. Yes. To even try to encourage preacher, a preacher to take church money? That's to right. satisfy your want? Satisfy you. Amen. This happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. The trash I came out of, besides when the preacher got older, didn't want to drive, besides having one of the brothers driving, he had the women chauffeur him around. That's and when those three blind mice <laughs> will complain to him about anything we preach, he'll come out, come out of that office and lay, it, and lay us out. Yeah. Even though he'd been preaching it for years himself. Yeah. These three blind mice turned my former bishop against Everything he stood for. Amen. And he started building up everything he destroyed, yeah. which made himself a transgressor. That's Is right. that in your church, viewers? Is that in your church? In your church. Where the preacher died and willed the church to once to some woman? Yeah. Many of you watching me now, your bishop died. And then when y'all sought through the paperwork, the paperwork was left to one of the women in the church. Mm. And y'all had to take the women to the court to fight her to get it back. Right. I know of such cases. Because there was cases where people asked my help to help get their church back. Mm. Yeah, that's something. If I die, my wife name it on the deeds of the church. That's right. That's right. This is God's church. God's church. This is not the Jennings family church. That's this right. is God's church. That's right. That's right. What I look like, all this hard sacrifice and work that the people are doing, sacrificing, tithing, and offering, and help build the work of God. And then when I die, just to find out the entire organization is left to my wife. Mm. You ought to dig me up and burn me. <laughs> and whatever's not ashes, pull. Take what's left, grind it in Not a that. coffee grinder <laughs> or a tree stump grinder Lord. and then step on that. Lord. Many of you people have lost your bishop, yeah. have lost your elder, have lost your pastor yeah. over some hot pants. That's right. That's right. Over a thong. Yeah. A shoestring. A shoestring. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Walk around with a shoelace in your tail. Shoelace. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. 
Am I right? Go ahead. Shoelace. Do you hear what the word of God says? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. She danced. And please Herod. Please Herod. And them that sat with him. And what? The king said unto the damsel, so ask of me whatsoever ask thou wilt. me what you want. And I will give it thee. I give you anything. And he swear unto her. Wait a minute. Mm. He promised. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. Whatever you ask of me. I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. Wait a minute. That's exactly where the bishops are today. Yeah. All she did was dance. Danced. She do a lap dance for bishop. That's right. Next thing bishop said, oh, I'll give you half of the entire movement. Half. I give you half of the whole movement. I give you half of the whole church. That's right. That's right. They don't preach this over there. No. Nah. Oh, no. Give you half of the whole movement. Give you half of the whole church. Half of it. Amen. Can you imagine that? Amen. How the church now became so insignificant, so worthless. Yeah. That you would put up breasts over the work of God. Over the that you would leave God's work for breasts. Yeah. Are you that dumb? <laughs> That's right. Amen. You're so hell deserving. Yeah. And he swear unto her. He sweared. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. I will give it thee unto the ah. half of my kingdom. I will give you half of the kingdom. Come on, son. And she went forth and said unto her mother. Wait a minute. She had a wicked mama. That's right. And many cases, a lot of these young women is put up to do something by their mama. That's right. True. That's true. You know, anytime your mama puts you up to approach any man, I mean, put you up to do it, your mama is no good. Oh, yeah. Even if the man is not a preacher. That's right. If your mama put you up to approach any man, sister, your mama is no good. Amen. Your mama is rotten and you're rotten. Yeah. Both of you are rotten. Both of you. Get me? And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. If the king offer you to give you half of his kingdom, half of the kingdom. you don't know what to ask. Mm. She asked her, her mama. That's right. What should I ask this man? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. Kill, kill, kill God's man. Kill, kill him. Kill him. Ain't that something to say? Amen. A young sister going to talk to you. And you ask her, well, why are you talking to me? Well, my mama told me I should talk to you. Get away from her. Get away from her. Run. Yeah. Her mama, because the question is this. How many other boys did her mama send her to talk to before she saw your dumb self? That's right. And you think you got something good. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. I don't care if you speak in tongue more than all of Thessalonica. You ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. Because once you back out of it, her mama going to send her to somebody else. Oh, yeah. And then when they back out of it, in other words, her mama trying to get rid of her. Yeah. Amen. You call it love. You're just a dump site for a fool. That's all. Her mother just want to drop you off. That's right. Drop her off. Wrap her up. Drop her off at the step. At the steps. And you call it love. And it ain't love. It's a setup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? What? And she said. Shall I ask? And she said the head of John the I Baptist. want you to cut John's head off. I Why? Because well, that man gave me too much trouble. He's yeah. too, strict. too strict. He preached too hard. He always condemned things. That's right. He always hold God's word in his face. Talking about repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. I'm sick of hearing it. That's right. Kill John. Yeah. Shut him up. Yeah. And that's exactly what the devil do. The devil, everybody that comes to the church, God don't send. No. The devil sends some folks to church to destroy what's in there. That's right. Because even the devil know God said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yeah. But that don't stop them from trying. Right. Listen. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king. Wait a minute. Amen. She got in the area. After she got that wicked advice from her mama. That's right. What did she do? And asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and hey, by. Hey, king. Amen. I will. That thou give me by and by. That you give me by and by. In a charge. In a charge. The head of John the Baptist. I want you to cut John the Baptist's head off. Head off. That's right. Hey, viewer. Have your bishop lost his head? Mm. Over some stockings? 
Has his whole preaching changed? Yeah. Has divorce now ceased to be preached against in the church? That's right. Because a voice spoke to him and said, that's his new wife? Yeah. I think of an old bishop that I knew as a child. I preached in Cambridge, Maryland. And then this old bishop came there who knew me before I was Pastor Jennings. He knew me when I was in the false church days. And after the service was over, he said he wanted to talk to him. And we sat at the table in the lobby. And he said, I know you'll stand. I'm proud of you, how <laughs> the work of the Lord. He wanted to butter me up first. That's right. This the, was one piece of bread that don't soak in butter. <laughs> That's right. Got Flattery the, don't mean nothing to me. Amen. Nothing. He got the butter out on you, Pastor. Huh? <laughs> That's right. He got the butter out of the knife. He got the butter out. <laughs> I mean, he would start wiping it, too. That's right. That's right. I didn't pay that stuff no mind, That's all that right. flattery. And he said, uh, I got four or five churches. I would like to give them to you. Mm -hmm. I said, you ain't got to give me nothing. God made me a builder. He said, I know you build churches, but I'm getting old. I want to turn my organization over to you. I said, what's the catch? That's right. What's the catch? That's right. Because he know most young men, you offer them churches. Oh, Lord, they'll jump at it, at, and they will sell out quicker than a dog can spit. Amen. I asked him, what's the catch? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I know you preach against divorce. I say to myself, here we go. <laughs> but I knew him and his wife. Uh -huh. And he said, uh, the Lord spoke to me. And showed me that my secretary is my new wife. I knew his secretary. All of us used to fellowship together. Wow. And I asked him one question. Is your wife still living? He said, yeah, but she's sick and she can't aid me. I say, what about for better or worse? <laughs> you mean to tell me you only love her when she can move around? Yeah. He said, well, he said, I know what you're saying, but the Lord spoke. I said, the Lord ain't said nothing. <laughs> That's right. Your wife is still living. The That's Bible right. says your wife got to die. He said, I got a revelation. I said, they show me in the Bible what? where your wife ain't got to die in the phone. New Testament. Right. That's right. He said, well, think about it. I said, I won't. That's right. He said, you're missing out on four churches. I said, God, have blessed me to build 400 if need be. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care nothing about that mess. Nothing. Oh, no. I haven't heard from that false prophet since. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. You're right. Got that new meat. He's preoccupied. That's right. He's either preoccupied or dead. Or dead. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? If your error or sin with the man, with the woman, repent. But that man and woman is not worth turning your back on God for. No way. You're going to turn your back on God for him? For him. Or for her? Really? That's right. Hey, preacher, what did that woman offer you that made you leave out the entire church? Well, I mean, what did that preacher offer you? Because he put you in a new car, gave you a new house, yeah. and made you turn your back on God? Yeah. You mean to tell me if a man buy you a house, that makes you leave God? Are you God. really that weak? That's right. That's right. Because a woman massaged your temples? That make you want to leave your wife and children in the book of and take care of somebody else's wife and children? Amen. How hell bound. Yeah. Here you got men making babies everywhere, won't take care of their babies, but then they'll marry somebody else. And here, let, let me say this. Let me say this right now. Glory to the Heavenly Father. Amen. Anytime a man got several children, from several different women and won't take care of those children. Yeah. And you marry that man marry him. and think he's going to take care of yours, you about as dumb as a brick. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's right. A man who will not take care of his children and you marry him, and you marry him. he ain't taking care of what comes from your womb because it is not in him to take care of children. That's right. 
It is in him to have sex, and that's it. That's it. That's right. That's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Real, son. Yeah. What kind of man are you if you have children and you marry another woman? Mm -hmm. You choose that woman over your kids? Over oh, yeah. there. You won't even look at your kids, take care of your kids? The woman don't want you to have no communication with your kids. Then the woman tell you, you can't bring the kids. I don't want your kids in my house. And then you give in to it and say, all right. Yeah. You ought to go to hell every Wednesday. <laughs> Amen. But the wimpy used to say the pie pie every Tuesday. <laughs> it's a disgrace. Yes. This type of preaching is not preached today. No. Everything is just blowing. You fall out. That's right. Slap on you. God got a miracle with your name on it. Viewers, I'm here to tell you, God ain't got nothing with your name on it. No. Nothing I said. That's right. That's right. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, sinner. Amen. It's time for you to repent of your sins and make a change and give God your life and stop being out here being a long-term fool. <laughs> That's right. You know, sometimes people are long-term fools. <laughs> Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. Get your sins washed away. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to get right and repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Stand on your feet now if you want to be right. <laughs> Glory to God. All of you that are standing, come on to the front. All of you that are standing, come on around to the front. This is a good educational message today. You that are watching, make sure no woman come take your church. And make sure your dumb preacher don't sell all the church assets and give it to her. That's right. Many of you watching don't like what I say, but you know what? Many of you can bear witness. Yeah. How your church was one thing. And then something happened, my God, and then everything done turned upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Come on back to the Bible, human family. Come on back to the Bible. We're glad for the souls that is coming now, getting ready to go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know many is not used to this type of frank talking preaching. Yeah. In your face preaching, direct. That's right. Right. Amen. Unpologetic. Oh, yeah. My job is to tell you the reality of life. And what I'm preaching is real. That's oh, right. Yeah. Many get offended, but there are people out there by the thousands who have experienced exactly the things that I preach about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They just want me to say it a little nicer. <laughs> and I won't. And you won't. No, sir. That's I'm right. going to tell you this right to your face. Bold. Oh, yeah. Sound. Yeah. So your spirit can be troubled over it oh, yeah. until you give your life to God. Amen. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Brother Dan will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodnesses and your kindnesses and your tender mercy you've shown towards us. We thank you, great God.